Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. Um, it's Marvin. Um, the topic today is just talking about uh, knife crime and also how a criminal record um, can affect your life um, in the long run. Um, I was just looking at a statistic, uh, government statistic. Uh, from September 2021 to September 2022, uh, 45,639 knife crimes um, in the UK. Shocking. That's um, extremely, extremely high. Um, it kind of shocked me because uh, I guess sometimes uh, being a uh, sort of older generation, you uh, tend not to sometimes see what younger people um, actually go through, but um, that's a pretty uh, crazy um, statistic. And like I said, I think these days, I think being in a gang, um, it's hard to some, sometimes get out of the environment um, you're actually in. I can I can relate to it. I've never been um, uh, basically gang related. It just wasn't my thing. At the end of the day, what I wanted to do, probably my upbringing, I wanted because my mum was very religious. I wanted to go out, uh, earn money, and do well for myself. And nobody was gonna sort of um, stop me from from doing that. That was my way forward. And I always thought of the consequences what would happen if i did this at the end of the day i thought first before i acted and it was um, a sort of good thing in, in 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 my life um a sort of having a criminal record i think what you've got to understand is um it can affect uh uh insurance uh having a criminal record uh information uh, contact with the police will always be ongoing. Visa app applications and going abroad. Sometimes I, I think when you're young, you don't actually think of that. Sometimes you can get into a situation, a fight or something where a blade's um, brought out and before you know it, um, some people call it self-defense or they use it as protect protection. So especially going into a, um, a, a different area, whereas my viewpoint is, it's just get yourself uh, completely um, out of that situation where you have to carry knives because it, it's not worth it. And it, it, it will destroy your future. Because you think, I think you think mentally differently um, from your 18 to say 22, when you get into your late 20s, 30s, I think you're actually sometimes regretting on what you do. There's so many videos out there you see guys 18 to 20, then you, they make a video of their life in their like 30s onwards at the end of it, and they're completely different. The mentality is completely different. And they are wishing sometimes they didn't do things uh, basically earlier to, to actually change their life. But hey, that's, that's life. So my topic is, is how a criminal record affects your life. I'm reading from the laptop. There are over 11 million people in the UK with criminal records so it's something that affects a lot of people some people end up with one uh, through deliberate actions others through neglect or problems with mental health or addictions so that could be a problem however you end up with a criminal record a common question is how will it affect my life uh, now and in the future the main thing to realize when it comes to a criminal record is that not all crimes are equal when you think about it, crimes are treated differently under the law, with more serious crimes receive more severe uh, punishment. People with violent or sexual offences uh, on the criminal record will find it much more difficult to find a job, housing and access, access to other support. Um, I didn't actually realise that um, it would affect housing, but obviously um, some of the government uh, Statistics said that it will um, support uh, um, you getting access and other support at the end of the day. So, it, you know, some, I know it's a catch-to-situation, catch but it does make me think 
um, people not getting the help they should get it makes you think that basically I sometimes understand why they um, uh, basically reoffend again if they're not getting the help uh, they just especially in in housing and other support as well to get them back to work or of course if you've been convicted of lesser or, or, or more minor offences such as theft, fraud or um, substance misuse, you may find it more difficult to access jobs in housing than someone with a clean record, uh, but not impossible at the end of the day. And I, I think it will depend on your support worker and what you're willing to do to prove that you've um, turned your life around. Uh, the length of time counts. If you committed a violent crime 20 years ago and have a clean record since, it's a much better than having a violent crime that was committed just five years ago or even 10 years ago. It's also worth realising that some crimes are not cons um, considered to be spent. You'll be expected to disclose the offence for the remainder of your life when it's deemed app um, appropriate on job applications, for instance. In general, if the crime committed was less severe in nature, and the person was sentenced to less than 30 months in jail, the conviction will be, uh, become spent after 11 years. For people that were uh, under the age of 18, when the offence was committed, the crime would be considered to be spent uh, after five and a half years. So that's pretty, um, uh, you know, good information for someone who's committed a crime and wants to go on a straight and narrow and wants to find a job, but it, um, the, the system does make it difficult um, for, um, for people uh, basically who don't want to reoffend, but have got that um, criminal record there, I think they, I think you've just got to try harder to prove yourself that you can do the job and you you, you have changed and I, and, I, and that gathers with time and you've not spent um, any more time um, in and out of prison or committing crimes. Uh, having any kind of offence or convictions on your record bound to affect your chances of landing a job, especially those that require high level of responsibilities and trust. I agree um, with that, um, to be honest with you. You know, I know people that have got criminal records and are highly, highly intelligent, uh, but they can't land jobs in banks or um, security jobs um, for different reasons um, because of um, a crime they actually did before and like I said I think these days and especially high level jobs 30 40 grand away it's a lot of responsibility and they do uh, check your previous records with a fine comb that's very very true and rolling in education it is difficult to get accepted onto higher education courses with uns unspent convictions on your on your record. This is especially true for vocational studies and are, are likely to end up working with children or vulnerable adults such as teaching and nursing. So I think with violent convictions or fighting, you're gonna find it very, very hard to get these kind of jobs, especially working with vulnerable, vulnerable people or working with elderly people or, um, it's, or children, it's just gonna, it, it's just gonna be a no-no. It's gonna be very, very hard. Another thing which surprised me is getting insurance as well. It is one, it's one that people may not consider, but getting insurance such as homeowners or car insurance may be difficult or more expensive for having um, a criminal record. That's um, quite surprising, but it, it tends to affect. Um, a lot of things in life that sometimes we actually take for granted. So it, it, it's, 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 it's worth thinking about things before you act. If you serve more than five years in prison for a single crime, you will be barred from jury services for the rest of your life. If you have unspent convictions, you will also be disqualified until the convictions become spent. Barred from some pub, um, public service jobs, people that have um, served prison time are unable to attend high level positions in the police force, even if the sentence was suspended. Local council positions are also um, out of the questions if you have been imprisoned within the past five years. So if, if you, it's always there if you, you want a high class job or you want to better yourself, um, the, the time conviction can sometimes go against you, even if you, you're five, 
you're just less than five years out of trouble, it's still difficult um, to, to find work. Having offences listed on your criminal record will also certainly cause you some problems, but as, you, um, as long as the crimes were not too severe and you have kept a clean record for a long time, it's not the end of the world. Uh, rehabilitation of offenders act noting has helped to vent uh, out of the playing fields and make it much easier to, to reform criminals uh, to find gainful employment. The main thing to note that, that if you have convictions in your record, you're sure to disclose uh, them when asked. Most employees ask for a DBS check these days and if they discover that you've admitted your application, you'll be below the chance of getting a job. To find out more about criminal uh, DBS checks and any safeguard issues, please get in touch with us today. So my thoughts are, it's just that, um, especially for, um, for young people who find it hard um, to maybe to get a job or um, to fit in or they're scared of the area and they're carrying um, a knife or a weapon at the end of the day, just think about the, the, the repercussions for what it can do um, in the long run in your life because it is so important. I always think it's so important to get um, a good education. Even if you're not working, go down to the local job centre, see what courses they got, go online, go on Google to find out um, what free courses you can actually do, um, how you can better set. Look at online businesses where um, you can get help um, in, 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 you know, in doing something online courses and stuff like that. There's always something to do to keep you uh, occupied from sometimes um, uh, being on the street or being around people um, who um, are bad news. If you can get out of um, a situation, uh, basically talk to an elder, talk to an older brother, talk to your parents, um, talk to someone you trust that's old school and they'll send you in the, um, the, the right direction, as obviously as long as they're not in the same game that um, you are, but um, there's always a way out by um, talking to someone. Look at um, youth schemes, uh, look at um, something you're good at, and it could be music, it could be football, it could be um, something, join a team, uh, go to the gym, uh, get knowledge, um, improve yourself. These things are very, very important to um, keep you out of trouble, especially if you're young. I'm not perfect. Uh, you know, but like I said, one thing, uh, one thing I, uh, my, you know, my parents brought me up was to, to, you know, to better yourself, to always grab something out of life. If you're in a situation where um, things could turn nasty, think about, uh, uh, you know, what repercussions it has to you. That's the very, very, very important at the end of the day. If you can get it, if you can walk away from the situation, walk away from the situation. As, as soon as possible. It's too easy to sort of um, get in a fight or um, arm yourself and before you know it you've killed someone, you've punched someone in the head for self-defence and um, you know you do in time for attempted murder or um, assault or battery. It's you know think about the situation you've been in. Uh, you know for me I've been I've been out I've been out and about and I've been in situations where someone's barged past me and I think now just let it go or um, someone's abused me or, or you know for, for for reason for being drunk and I think uh, they you know ignore it at the end of the day some things you have to ignore you have to be mindful of what's around you at the end of the day you've got to be thick-skinned as well these days in life you have to be thick-skinned you've got to let things go and you've got to think positively if you're thinking positively you get the right ideas sometimes turn the TV off um, turn your laptop on, turn the game um, uh, console off and think seriously about what you want to do with your life and good things, but think positive. That's one of the main things. And I hope that uh, is helpful, um, especially for um, young people trying to make it. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment. Thanks, Marvin.